Hello guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series on the channel. We are playing Uncharted 2. Yes, the remastered edition, the Nathan Drake collection. I've done the first game. I played the fourth game on the channel as well. And the Lost Legacy DLC. But I've not uploaded the second game or the third. But this is one of the best games ever. One of the best ever exclusives. And we're about to play it on the channel. If you guys could be incredible, leave a like, leave a comment. Are you guys excited for this series? Let me know. Let's begin. We are hanging by an actual thread right now. An actual thread. This train is not in the optimal position. <laughs> it shouldn't be here. Must be freezing as well. He's losing blood. He's not in the best shape. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Nathan Drake doesn't have the best luck when it comes to... Um, Things stand in the, in the right position. Things just tend to fall apart around him. But somehow he gets away with it. I don't exactly know how, he just does. Man, this game still looks so good. Naughty Dog are honestly unbelievable. I don't know where I'd be in terms of how much I would love games about them. That's how good they are. The Last of Us, Uncharted. They make such incredible games. Crash Bandicoot. I mean, it's insane. It's okay. How good they are. It's okay. Come on. Oh, 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 uh oh. Like I said, things just tend to break. <laughs> just always. Always tend to break. Oh, man. Back inside the train. And then hop on these chairs. Ooh. How much weight can these chairs take? <laughs> it's alright. It's all good. Uh, for any of you guys that don't really know, Nathan Drake is basically Indiana Jones. A bit more extreme. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'd pull it. Incredible character. Nolan North does such a great job with this character. Like, incredible. So likeable. Funny. Humble. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. No, the train's moving more. Damn it. Just stay still, train. Don't move anymore, please. So close to escaping this scenario. <laughs> Please. So, so close. You must forget he's bleeding out as well. And it's freezing cold. He has no jacket on. Just a very thin t shirt and boot cut jeans. Run. Run. Mate, mate, run. Please. Oh, that was close. I still think this is the best Uncharted game. I think I, I think so. The, the third game is pretty good, but for me this is probably the best one. Ooh. 
Flashback. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Based off that last scene, quite a lot. Quite, quite a lot. Yep. <laughs> quite a lot indeed. I remember playing the first game, and it was just like one of those draw dropping moments. I was like, wow, this. I knew it wasn't perfect, but I was like, this is the future of gaming. When I went into the water and the trousers was like, basically come out wet, I was like, wow, this is what I want more of. And Naughty Dog have delivered several times now. The talent in that studio is, is crazy. Uh, can we go through there? They make games I want to play. Not just once, but multiple times. I think I want to play this game once, actually. <laughs> that sounds ironic. <laughs> but yeah, I just... 
The Last of Us, for example, I played a lot. I think I played the third game maybe twice or three times. Played the fourth game once. Don't know why I've not played this game more. Feels like a long time since I played it. Yeah. Is that oil? That looks like oil. Ooh, I got him. Thank you. Can I go through here? Yeah. I don't even... I don't really believe Naughty Dog make the best gameplay video games, if that makes sense. But in terms of story, graphics, atmosphere, characters, story... I've already said that. Because we can probably shoot locked. that. It's always locked. It's always goddamn locked. Someone probably heard that. Reload. Got it. He's alive. Oh. Whoa! What did I shoot? Karma's a bitch. Yes, it is. I actually believe in karma a lot. Weirdly, sometimes it sounds really weird, but sometimes when my wife's a bit rude or a bit blunt, she always like stubs her toe or walks into something. It's weird. I, I believe in karma quite a bit, actually. Like, if you do something good, like, as long as you don't force it, like you do something good just because you want to do something good, sometimes that karma comes back and helps you out a little bit. So I think anyway. Yes, karma is a bitch. <laughs> it's true. It's very, very true. Can we do to go up? Yeah. Up out this train? What the hell happened here? Oof. Gee Louise. Honestly, he's the luckiest, but also the most unluckiest man ever. Does that make any sense? I don't know. And he's not back out again, unconscious. <laughs> Flashback. By the way, Chloe. <laughs> Should be saying it, but damn. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Can we really trust him? <laughs> That's the question. Not seen him for a while. Once money gets involved, loyalty is a, is a thin line. If that makes sense. Well, I like how he doesn't give up though. He keeps on. Do I have to go underneath? Yeah. The amount of scratches, scars, blood. He's having a, a long day, that's for sure. 
I wonder if they ever will release another game. There's rumours that maybe there's another studio working on something Uncharted related. Probably not Naughty Dog though. <laughs> this gets no luck. It's so bad. I must be like, what have I done to deserve this? There's a barrel there. That's a bad sign. Yeah, yeah, I've also seen the snow. For this, I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards, and we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax, relax, <laughs> relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. I'll see you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? I don't know. I love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy. <laughs> Squidgy jeans. I don't actually wear jeans that often, to be honest. I used to. Random. Uh, by the way, also, this Nathan Drake collection, which includes the first, the second game, and the third game, is currently free on PSN Plus. If you have PSN Plus on PlayStation, you can like get this for days, free. Isn't it? Yeah. Crazy. When were those Recommend again? it. Can I go to the left? There you go. A bit reluctant. Don't know why. Oh, that was close. Also very underrated is the multiplayer for Lost of Us and Uncharted. Very underrated. Oh wait. It's very fun. This can't be right. Uh. Must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey. Now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah. Correct. In like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. In like Flynn. <laughs> Oh, some of the jokes, man. Coming up is one of the best jokes, I think, ever in video games. It's, it's one of my favorites. Here it comes. I'll shout Thanks. when I hear it again. Sweet. 
soggy jeans. Yeah. Almost oh, that's there. soggy clothes. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. This game has aged incredibly well, and that's been remastered. Still. We're good. We may need a boost. Oh yeah, I should be looking for collectibles actually. I forgot. Whoops. Oh, what was that? Oh, was that the boost? Yeah. One second. Anything over here? Yep, yeah, I thought what I was I was getting a little hint. First treasure! Do we get a trophy for that? I guess not. Yeah, that'd be it for now. What's he standing over there for? I don't actually know. Do you want to follow me? Perhaps he's waiting for a hint. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, all right. Stylish. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Thank you. All right, this is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right, there's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. Yep, See found if it. Find it then. Goodbye, steam. Hot, hot you steam. You got it. He's pretty good at moving around, isn't he? I could definitely never do this. <laughs> First jump! Bam! Dead. Broke my legs, broke my back. Game over. He's very mobile. Take cover! Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? Good point, good point. Yeah, he had a slight retirement, but he's back. Is there any collectibles in here? Hmm. I won't be getting every collectible, but if I obviously see one. Ah, I knew it. Called it. You can get a rough idea, like, okay, this is quite an open area. We're just like standing around. There's a collectible in here. It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! <laughs> There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Oh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's gotta be around here somewhere. So if we follow this red wire, see where it goes. Is that where it goes? Oh yeah. No more alarms there. for you. That ought to do it. All right, we're in. I got him. Are you sure? Okay. Doop -a doop -a doop. So to perform a stealth attack, press square. Got it. Let's give him a big old slap. Just walks past me. Yep. He's not dead, by the way. He's just a little bit knocked out. Sleepy, sleepy times. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. 
Let's do it indeed. This might involve a bit more stealth. Yep. Ideally, we need to try and take him out. I reckon. <clears throat> doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. Ooh, that's gonna cause a headache. We gotta get up Jeez. to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. So, do they have all the patrols mapped out? Is this, is this all going to plan already? I, it feels a bit, still a bit risky, still a bit un, unplanned. Surely you'd see me by now. I've got the other one. You sure? Boom! Oh yes. <laughs> Elbow to the face. You good? We're good. That is definitely alarmed. Come on, what are you waiting for? It's weird, I feel like I've played this on YouTube, but I definitely haven't. Weird. Maybe I did and I took it down or something. We're almost there. I don't know. I'll go right, you go left. Go left, got it. Oh, shoot. Order. Oh, that was close. Oh, he saw me. Oh, nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Somebody there. Yes. Oh, that looked painful. <laughs> Is his neck okay? Yeah, this is definitely alarmed. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. God damn it, you're so lazy! Right, so if we follow the red cable again. Ah, it's up there. So can I. Yeah, this should be fine. I didn't really plan for these doors, did they? Okay, it's off. Now we can lift them. I like when I've not played a game for a while, I sort of remember bits of it, but not every okay, detail. Okay. Go Obviously, if I get a little like flashbacks Carry when I go on. through it. Easy. Easy. Yeah, if you'd let that go, it would make an almighty smash. Alright, you gotta cross this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do all the ass kicking, alright? Right. Alright. So for me, this is probably the weakest point of the game is the stealth. I'm not a massive fan of the stealth. Also, it does feel fairly, fairly forced. Yeah, not a massive fan of it, to be honest. I guarantee I'll get caught at some point. There's one down. Sweet dreams. Matt's sweetheart. That's cool. Comparing our stats with my friends list. Oh God, that was close. Uh, that's not good. What oh, is the collectible right there? Damn. Where's this guy gonna go? Yeah, we can get him. Sweet dreams. I get this guy and get the collectible. I hope he doesn't see me. I was actually in the fountain. Damn it. Night. Do I see? Yeah. I, was say, I definitely saw something. <laughs> Am I seeing things? Background this way.
Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Ah. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. So we'd have to take them all out. That's good. Bah, suckers. I'm guessing there's probably another collectible in that corner. I'm guessing. I don't know. Who knows? We move on. And we are in. Um, you knew about this? Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh. Oh, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? You know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. Bu kutulara bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar. Right, who first? Bu bizim görevimiz değil ki. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Eski sergiden kalan eşyalar. Dep. Whoops. Oh, that went well. Which one somehow gets to this top platform? Hmm. I think I might need to move this. Okay, that worked. Nice. I think I gotta move this. We gotta get up to that walkway. Oh. <laughs> Bit delayed. Yeah, let's give us a push. Okay, for something with wheels, this is very heavy. Your conscience will be unscathed. Yeah, now all we need is a horse. Any collectibles? Nope. Those rafters will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh, nice. Good idea. Yeah. I'll have to you helping out a little bit. You can shimmy across. Should be okay. There we go. Hey. Oh. I love you, Cutter. No, no. <laughs> he did get spotted, though. Very briefly. I don't think he raided it in, though, so we're okay. It's all good. Come on. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just don't fall off, please. Pretty please. Ooh. The level of detail in these games is incredible. Right, so far, it's going okay. I'm pretty happy. For here? Yeah. The plan is coming together. All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> Don't look down. So this was really in the plan. They knew which way to go. Hmm. Come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, pull me up. You put on weight, pull me up. That was far too close. All right, no more donuts for you. He isn't that heavy. <laughs> oh, he's got another rope. Okay. Good. Get this. Yeah. Ah, once again, you're up. Thank <laughs> yours. Get a good old swing. And then jump. Right behind you. 
As always. <laughs> always behind us. Never in front. We always take the risks. There's a guy above you. There's a guy above you. Yay! Ooh. Stealth attacker. There's a guy below you. A guy <laughs> I love that bit. That's probably one of my favourite jokes in gaming. I love it. I don't know why. Always makes me chuckle. I like it. <laughs> Alright. Where do we go now? Good question. Is he up? Yep. Yeah. Where do we go next? <sighs> ah, a ladder. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. So impatient. There's a guard just there. If we can jump There's onto him. Oh, we're going to shoot him. Okay, good idea. <laughs> Night, sweetie. How long do these darts last for? Nearly there. Yeah, but why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. <laughs> Jumped a bit early there. It's all good, don't worry. There's a guard on my left. <laughs> why do it make such a painful sound? It's a dart. <laughs> Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. Yes. That's my girl. The lights are out. Please don't be alarmed. Please don't be alarmed. Yes. Is it clear? Okay. We're clear. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. <laughs> Never heard that before. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And? Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. 
Come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit! You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Uh-uh, <laughs> not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I knew it! Um, where do I go? Okay, there's one route. This way. Let's do it. Okay, there's, there's a lot of lasers right now. Can I really dodge all of these lasers? Please! No, no, no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Yeah, I mean, we was already screwed. We're definitely screwed now. Alright, alright. Think, Nate, think. Yes, sir. Yeah, go, go, go. Just the way we came in. Surely not. Yeah, this way, this way. There's a lot of guards. Alright, use your head, Nate. Use your head. Oh. Alright, get out of here. There you go. There you go. Oh. Gotta get to that ladder. Surely Chloe wouldn't just leave us. Surely. <laughs> See ya, suckers. Yeah, it's not. Oh, what was that about? <laughs> was you, you know, pressed up by accident? Turkish prison, here we come. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So... Had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully. But you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? 
loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. So welcome to Borneo. So that is the end of part one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This game is one of the best games of all time. Hence, it's got a lot of nines, a lot of tens in review scores if you guys care about that sort of thing. But yeah, if you guys want to see a part two, leave a like on the video, leave a comment below. Hope you guys have a pleasant day and bye-byes.